Okay, so as you saw in part one, I defeated Will quite handily. It wasn't very hard. Now we're moving on to the second gym leader member. A uh, gym, uh, the, not gym leader, elite four member, which happens to be Koga. So, considering he's Koga, I'm gonna switch to a Pokemon that knows a psychic move, which I don't believe I actually have any. Oh, except for Executor with Confusion, uh, which is somewhat hilarious, but. And then, uh, we shall go against Koga. I will quickly save here. And, uh, Koga is just basically completely poison, which means Psychic will wipe out just about everything. He also has a Fortress, which is Bug Steel, which means that a Fire Pokemon, along, uh, which is similar to Caesar, Fire Pokemon will take it down within one hit, pretty much, because of the times four multiplier. So let's go on to part two against Koga. Ninja techniques. There it is. Okay. So fire type moves are good against bugs, uh, but that means confusion is good as well, considering he is poison. Confusion is pretty much one of the weakest uh, psychic type moves in the game, but considering it's the only one I know at this point, uh, because I don't have access to the psychic TM, which I get in Saffron City, which is after I beat the Elite Four. So we'll go and use confusion again, after he uses a full restore. Very frustrating. Okay, so maybe he won't withdraw it and probably send out Fortress. Oh, who called it? Who called it? Okay, so this is frustrating. So I'm going to use a Sunny Day, and then I'm going to switch out uh, to Charizard. Sweet, I called that one. The cool thing about Sunny Day is not only does it power up Fire-type moves and make Solar Beam only one turn, but Executor is also faster. Which means that later on in the game, I will be able to bring him out and be quite a bit faster than the opponent, actually. So I'm going to switch out to Charizard. And uh, we're going we're gonna to take out, out this bug in a ball. Mm, boy, Toxic Spikes will not make it nearly as easy to switch out. Good thing I bought a whole bunch of full heals back before I started this whole thing. So I'm going to switch over and do Fire Blast. And uh, it is going to burn this bug up. Boom. Okay, one hit kill. Die, die, die. Yummy. Okay, so let's see what he sends out next. 814, not bad. Uh, it says boosted because I traded the eggs over from my platinum version, and I ran through the whole game with them. Uh, so I'm going to switch out to uh, Executor again because Muck is pure poison, and the only thing that I have that's good against poison at this point is Psychic. So, oh boy, forgot about poison spikes already. Okay, this battle's taking a little longer, as you can tell, but it's not a big deal. Confusion should do quite a bit against this muck. Mm. I don't know, and I don't know if this is true or not, but muck seems kind of like a tank to me. Not a nice person to use. And Gunk Shock wipe wipes me out in one hit. That's not cool. And now Toxic Spikes will take its toll on me again. Hmm, this is frustrating. So I don't know what exactly I should use against him. Oh, right, and he continuously restores health. So, um, my shuckle will be completely useless here. Uh, so why not try out, I don't know, Nidoking. Poison spikes disappeared. Well, that's nice. Okay, so I'm going to go go with Earth Power and see what it does. It's a special type move, so it'll... Uh, capitalize on the fact that my Nato King special attack is higher, and it learns it at 43, which means I just learned it. Ooh, nice. Killed on one hit. I did not know that ground was super effective against poison, which is a lie I actually did, I had just forgotten, so. Level 44. Quite nice. Okay. 322, 322. My Pokemon are not EV trained. Um, I am starting to EV train Pokemon, but uh, these ones aren't. So now let's switch to Charizard to take out this Moth. Uh, very frustrating. Koga's never really been all of that hard, just very annoying. Okay, so we're going to use a Fire Blast or Blast Burn. I'll use Blast Burn because of the 100% accuracy, and now Supersonic will be very frustrating. So, assuming Charizard doesn't hurt himself... Darn it! Okay, now I'm going to use Blast Burn again. Blast Burn has 100% accuracy, which means it hits just about every time. And assuming that I'm not... 
confused, it will hit and kill him. Yummy. And I don't need to worry about the recharge turn, because as long as I switch Charizard out after killing it, I don't need to worry about it. And Venomoth is dead. Nice. Okay, so 1,841. That's quite nice. We are going to... Ooh, 322, 222. We are going to switch out... Ooh, Ariados. So we are going to switch out, and we are going to go back to Nidoking, considering ground is good against poison. I would leave Charizard out, but Blast Burn forces me to switch. Well, it doesn't force me to switch, but I would lose a turn, so... We will go with Earth Power again. Now, I think Earth Power looks very cool. And like I said earlier, it's a special attack. Okay, Ariados is gone. And now, Crobat. Actually, I'll keep battling, and I will use Thunder on him. Because Thunder vs. Flying is good. However, Crobat is insanely fast. Uh, which is going to be frustrating. The nice thing about Nidoking is he's part poison, which means that I can never be poisoned with Nidoking. Now, if Thunder hits, nice. I should, it should kill it in one hit, if not two. And... nice. Critical hit. That was lucky of me. And this battle with Kog is over again. Not again, I should say, but second battle is over. It only took six and a half minutes, which is quite nice. I subjected you to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Okay, well, like I did last time, we'll go back to my Pokemon, and this is what happened to this battle. Executor fainted, Charizard, and Nidoking took a little bit of damage, but other than that, nothing to write home about. So I'll see you guys next time with Bruno. <laughs>